Hi there, this is Hagen Blount of itasteyourbeer.com and I'm here with Sam Merritt, civilizationofbeer.com. Hey, Hagen. How's it going? Alright, man. Sam and I uh, have met each other a bunch of times, never this sober, uh, but uh, you know, it's a good way to start out. Uh, tell me about your site, Sam. Well, Civilization of Beer is, uh, the website is really just a shingle with the phone number on it, but Civilization of Beer, uh, we do professional and also uh, recreational training for beer, so uh, we teach people everything about beer. I'm involved with the Cicerone program, okay. which is a beer sommelier program uh, that was launched in 2009. If you I'm sorry, 2007. Okay, if you want to know a lot about uh, beer, study some Cicerone. If you want to get some great beer, come down to Spencer's Corner in the Lower East Side. They've got 40 beers on tap, a bunch of bottles, pretty much uh, mostly American on that side, but as you can see, you know, they've got everything you need if you're a craft beer connoisseur. Come down to Spencer's if you're in the Lower East Side and have a great beer. Cheers. Cheers. Well, Thumper from Ringwood Brewery. I mean, you say Ringwood, but uh, I think it's uh, Shipyard, right? Brewed by Shipyard Brewing Company, LLC, Portland, Maine. Made where many fine things are made, including myself, uh, born in Portland, Maine. Uh, Old Thumper has a wild boar on the head. It's a beast of a beer. 5.6 alcohol by volume doesn't offer us a whole lot of extra information about the beer. But what I like about the info on that bottle is that it's good until November 2011, which means that it's super fresh. It's okay. probably less than a month old. Which is awesome. So, did we get a little, little bit of fruitiness? A little bit of fruitiness, a little bit of caramelish on this one. A little butterscotch. Oh, there we go. Probably butterscotch. A lot of butterscotch. More, butterscotch. more butterscotch than caramel. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, got some in my nose. That happens. Um, you got a honker, man. I do, yeah. Not a thumper, but a honker. <laughs> Let's taste her. Uh, boozy. Real boozy, right? What is the ABV on this one again? Five six. Five six, which is a little higher than Budweiser. Okay, I would guess maybe a little bit higher than five six if I was just uh, tasting it right off the bat. Every brewery has their own yeast that they deal with. Yeah, um, right. Do a lot of your breweries like buy uh, you know constant wet yeast, or do they like cultivate their own yeast? I mean, it's, it's all cheaper they their to own. cultivate their own. They keep their own, and, and often it's under lock and key, okay. and uh, freeze dry and, and cryogenic and all that stuff it's it's, yeah. it's it's the most protected thing in a brewery yeah you have basically three big strains of okay. lager yeast and ale yeast yeah and you can split it up that way and then the third and actually the one that's getting all the attention these days is the brett okay uh the brettanomyces so you have uh saccharomyces cerevisia okay. which is ale yeast and then you have Saccharomyces pulverum, also known as Pastorianus. Okay. Um, and that's lager yeast. So you can split beer yeah. into two categories by that. And what Brett does is what it does for Lambic and does for the Belgian sour ales, the, the Flemish sours, and it gives you sourness. Yeah. Which for a lot of, a long time was considered an off flavor. And you'd rather have sweetness from malt and bitterness from hop. But if you can balance out a beer with non-sweetness that doesn't come from hops, yeah. that's a really fun thing. And that's what Brett does. Brett brings to the table uh, sour characteristics that counter sweetness and they act like yogurt yeast. Okay. You know, and it's like that little the tinge. culture. Yeah. Yeah, the chalkiness yeah. that you're talking Chalky, about. Chalky, a little chalky, yeah. but also like a, a little bit of tart. Yeah. Ringwood Brewery's Old Thumper Ale, brewed by our good friends at Shipyard Brewing Company, where all fantastic things are made, myself included. My name is Hagen Blount. 
I do itasteyourbeer.com where you can discover a new beer daily. My friend here, Samuel Merritt from Civilization of Beer, where you can learn about all things uh, as regards to brewing, serving, tasting, what else? Selling. Selling beer. If you want to know anything about beer, check out civilizationofbeer.com. Sam Merritt is my good friend. Cheers. Cheers. Taste this beer.